uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to bring on two cultural icons and cultural experts to give us their take on Chinese New Year. And who better to do that than comedian Jackie Ng and comedian Faka Fuzz. Gentlemen, welcome to hey. Saturday Mornings on Money FM. Great to have you both with us. Yo. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Guys, uh, Jackie, you might have to put your microphone on. I think your microphone is off at the moment. There you go. Ironically, for a comedian? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. morning. Good morning. You go. Thank you for joining us. Let's talk Chinese New Year. We'll we'll go with the majority first. That's Jackie. Uh, yeah. How will you spend Chinese New Year? Let's start with that. Well, usually Chinese New Year, my parents uh, go back to Indonesia. My mom is Indonesian, uh, so they they head back to the village and then they, they hang out there. I I hang back home in Singapore. Uh, I sort of have two families. Uh, I've got parents that live in Chinatown, so on reunion dinner, I'll have dinner with both the families. I'll have dinner one side, brush to the other side, uh, and then I'll stay up all night, and then in the morning, I'll send my parents off to Indonesia, and then for the next two days, I'll do some visiting with my friends here. Yeah. Fantastic. Fucker, uh, you're looking a little bit confused there. How how do you spend Chinese New Year? Why are you so confused about Jackie? I mean, like, you know, like Jack, Jackie's spending Chinese New Year, like how any typical Singaporean will celebrate Chinese New Year, like send their parents to Indonesia, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, like I think uh, it, it, it's not, a, it, it, you know, if you've lived in Singapore long enough, Chinese New Year is not a confusing time. We know what's up, right? Shops are closed. If you guys want to get, if you guys want to get food in the morning on Chinese New Year, that's not possible. In fact, some Chinese people are present at KFC early in the morning. I don't know why y'all eating KFC early in the morning, Chinese people. Okay, what else to eat? What what else you gonna eat? On eat home? the food at home. It's literally <laughs> Chinese New Year. It's Dude, literally. It's a- it's a new year. You're not supposed to eat leftover food. You gotta start the year fresh. God. Fresh hot chicken from KFC. Fresh hot chicken from KFC. <laughs> no, but I think when I was a kid, uh, it used to be Singapore would be closed for like a good three days. Uh, mm. yeah, but yep. now I think you'll probably be closed first half of Chinese, first half of the day on the first day of Chinese New Year. And then I think things will be better. Okay. I, I think you're right. I think you're right about that. They they don't close for the full day anymore. And we're we're talking with Jackie Ng and Faka Fuzz, both the comedians here, about their take on Chinese New Year. Um and you're it's it's actually not that hard to get food and to get supplies <laughs> over the Chinese New Year anymore, is it? No. Glenn, no. Glenn, you live in a gentrified neighborhood. Okay. So you can't be <laughs> you know don't, your reality does not apply to us. All right. Very good point. Okay, you're right. You're right. Mad- Madam Halima and I, I'm, I'm, I'm her across the street neighbor from, uh, uh, from uh, the Astana. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. He he cleans the Astana. I clean I clean the gutters along uh, Cavanaugh Road, uh, and so yeah, I, I get the scraps every now and then. They throw over the fence. So, yeah. <laughs> let, let me let me come back to Jackie. I mean, fuck has made a great point there that I never really thought about. You've got dinners and snacks at every Chinese home in Singapore. And first thing, Chinese New Year, you go and eat Western food, <laughs> Western fast food from the Angmors. What's that about? Well, you're going to have Chinese food for, the, for a whole lot for the next three days. You're going to keep visiting. You're going to have a whole lot of pineapple tart. So you, you want to keep your palate fresh for that. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna... okay, you know, like, like if, if 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 there's families here listening uh you know and you guys you guys about to do low hay uh there, there are families I... so can i just remind you guys there are families listening so let's <laughs> okay, just make right, sure right. we keep that in mind right okay all right, all right. that's nice that's nice the, i mean this is the the, 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 the the money this is the the, the money station right so can, can we not waste food? Like, here's the thing. I, I am into yeah. lohe as well. Like, I like the lohe thing. But can we just keep it to the table so that we don't waste good salmon? That's what I'm saying. You know, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, it's good salmon. I don't, I don't know if just... lohe you've been joining, but, like, it, it's not the salmon that will hit the floor. Like. It is all the other the shreds of carrots and, and veggies and things like that, you know. But salmon, salmon will be fine. Don't worry about the salmon. You know, it's the expensive part, right? It's the expensive yeah. part. You will not find a family that will be tossing the salmon. The things we're okay. <laughs> is you, you really just the veggies. Jackie, and how genuinely uh, excited do you feel when somebody yells quad R at you? 
there is an in, innate feeling that just rises when the word what is uttered around me. You know, it, it, you do feel it. You can feel the the wealth energy rising. <laughs> <laughs> when you time the what with the the, the low, you know when you, your it goes up and then you hear your uncle what, oh, mm. it's a, you know it makes you really want to go out and buy forty. <laughs> <laughs> Which we do not advocate. We uh, do not advocate. Uh, oh, no, yeah. Now let me ask you this, <clears throat> Jackie, and then I'm going to throw this to fucker because he's made some yeah. comments to me privately. You're going yeah. to eat a lot of your own family's cooking as many people listening to this show will oh boy. over the Chinese New Year period. Let me get your take on your family's cuisine first, and then I'll get fuckers' take on your family's cuisine. <laughs> well, I, I, I enjoy my, my family's cooking. Uh, my mom's cooking. She's Indonesian, uh, so she has you know her own uh, cultural stuff that she's bringing over, like ingredients that I don't even know how to pronounce. And she she makes amazing food that I cannot find anywhere outside of home, you know. So I really enjoy it. Fuck okay. up. First, first of all, miso to is not that hard to pronounce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dish. It's the dish. It's the dish. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I it's not fair for me to comment on Jackie's uh family cuisine because I haven't exactly been. Uh, and I haven't exactly, but I have had reviews from many of my uh, <laughs> uh, many of my peers that that Jackie has actually very graciously invited to his house, and they have walked out severely disappointed. <laughs> but, but, wow. Okay, you're hearing it here first, folks. Jackie Ng has invited Faka Fuzz to come for a very very special Chinese New Year 2023. Uh, I understand, uh, Faka, you're you're going to be the one who's actually going to be doing all of the steamboat. Uh, you know, putting all the all the ingredients in oh. and serving everybody as well. Is that is that correct? That that is my that is my favorite uh, thing about like Chinese food. Actually, steamboat <laughs> is one of my favorite things. Like I heard Hai Ti Lao and Beauty in the Pot are amazing. That's what I heard. You know, I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like according to sources, those are delicious. So I would look forward to that. Can, can you all make a TikTok video for us of of the uh, the Ng family hosting Faka Fuzz at uh, Chinese New Year? Because I think we all want to see. I heard of your family referred to as the Ng family. I love or, it. Or an Insta reel. I mean, we need we need some sort of uh, video documentation of this. Okay. Uh, Jackie, what were you saying? I was gonna say <laughs> do you like steamboat because um, you only trust yourself to cook the food when you're eating with with us. <laughs> Oh, man. oh no, no, no. Oh, You're like, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll cook this myself. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so, Jackie, let me ask you first, as a, as a Chinese yeah. guy on the panel, what are mm -hmm. some of your best and worst things about Chinese New Year? Well, the best thing is, of course, the money. You know, it's, I guess, <laughs> every, you know, you, you get money. People people give yeah. give away packets to you. It's a, it's, it's a face thing. Even if you're visiting your mom's friend that you never really met, don't really know, they still give you money. Uh, and, and that's probably the best part. Uh, How much do you expect to get this year, Jackie? What, what's your goal? Do you have a goal for uh, invest, saving and then investing? Uh, I, I, on average, I get about maybe 150 to maybe $200 a year. Uh, I don't know about investing that. but you know, There you yeah, go. Okay. I will go maybe having a good day with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you know your family is listening to this now and you've just either complimented them or insulted them depending on where they stand on two hundred dollars i felt it was a little on the low side unless you have a very small family mm, i don't know mm, mm. if one person gives hundred dollars that that'd be a very nice unpow but you know two hundred dollars from a whole family or extended family and friends that's that's uh you know i think as a, the ung family can definitely work harder <laughs> what's the what's the what's the basic like like amount now that you need to give for chinese new year like eight dollars um, yeah i mean usually ten dollars is uh is 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 a comfortable amount that nobody will call ten ten dollars the floor it, now is that where we're at is yeah it eight I, a what number is it, it eight a what number yes but um it is still less than ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so, Faka, would you give a ten dollar note and ask for two dollars back? Is that how you would be doing this this year? I, I respect that, Faka. I, I, I respect the fact that eight is an auspicious number. So, if I give ten, 
I mean, return to so in the spirit of the festival, you know, in the spirit. Or, of or are you giving a five? Are you giving a five dollar bill, a two dollar bill, and a dollar coin? Maybe you do it that yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's eight, you know, I'm just <laughs> making sure. Can pay line anyway, you know. Pay line. Oh, you can pay line now. Please yeah. tell me that's not true. Please <laughs> tell me yeah, that people do not. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so yeah. impersonal. Is this true, Jackie? People do it by pay now. That's why PayLa has that function where you can wrap your yeah. money in a red yeah, packet. Can, yeah, and when in a packet. You can open no, but it's good rip. because it saves all the it saves all the paper packets, right? Which yeah. creates so much waste. And also the printing of the fresh bills, you know, every year mm. they print mm. hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these fresh bills, which the yeah. carbon footprint on that alone is massive. So, well, yeah, they've been trying to push. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right, fuck them. Over to you then. Best as a as a non Chinese chap. Best and worst parts of Chinese New Year for you. I think best parts of Chinese New Year is this year. I I realized that I have a lot of invites. A lot of people inviting me to their uh, Chinese New Year open house, and it's it's it's, mm. it's on. I'm honestly very excited because like, I don't know what to expect, right? Because I I don't I don't really go to the open house a lot. But this year has proven to me that. You know, uh, now now I have a lot more Chinese friends that are willing to invite me. So so it, it kind of feels like I've done better in life. Uh, maybe not in life, but in Singapore. Um, yeah. The worst, the worst part about Chinese New Year, um, huh? The worst part about Chinese New Year. Actually, you know what? I don't know about the worst part about Chinese New Year, but I do. Every time I see Chinge, I'm like, we gotta, you know, what is this? So much like just because we took their fireworks away. Come on. <laughs> like <that's... laughs> like, it's a lot. <laughs> oh, you know, but, we're going to get, get, get Hosan Leong on, who is going to be dressed as a bunny at Chinge this year. I don't know if you saw his Insta feed, but yeah. he's already, uh, so we'll get him on to have him comment on that uh, as well. Um, Faka, just a quick question. Um, you're not going to wear the shirt uh, to your friend's houses that you're currently wearing, are you? Over Chinese oh, New Year? Okay. Every, every, you are going to wear something like, different, right? You know what? I, I choose to wear this shirt at home, and I still get so much flag for it. People saying I'm looking like Ronald McDonald, and I don't really appreciate that. I don't appreciate you know, that. But, did you ever watch the old Partridge Family sitcom back in the 1970s? It, it, it looks got, like the Partridge Family bus. looks like the okay. painting on the we side of the bus. We were supposed to talk about my shit today, but apparently it's okay. So, <laughs> I kept this at home. This is a home shirt. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. okay. Fair enough. I'm not wearing this out. What? <laughs> What's wrong? Well, uh, uh, may I suggest you should wear it out because children will follow you. It's <laughs> wow. like a Pied Piper through shopping centers and such like. They'll ask you for goodies and treats oh. and the Pied Piper of oh. Fuzz. The Pied Piper of Fuzz. There you yeah. go. Wear it for your special fuzz. I think that will help it, you know, sell more. <laughs> <laughs> I got a show on the 18th and on the 19th, guys. On the 18th and 19th of uh, of of um, uh, next week, actually, next Thursday and next uh, uh, Wednesday, Jackie will be there too. Yeah, so yes. please get your tickets on my Instagram. Yeah, fantastic. All right, Jackie. As a final word to you, my friend, what are you, how are you spending Chinese New Year uh, in the next couple of days? And are you going to see fuck a fuzz? Uh, hopefully, well, like, like I said, my, my parents are not going to be around, but I, I can probably host some friends, so I can probably invite for us over. I'm not sure about the cooking, but we can definitely have you set up a steamboat for us, Afas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be the TikTok of the week. And can he yeah. wear that shirt? For sure. Just, just, uh, just come in the wee hours, make sure none of my neighbors see. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Gentlemen, we have to leave it there. We do thank you for your time and your insights on uh, your Chinese New Year. Jackie Ng. And Fucker Fuzz. And I must give a shout out. Fucker Fuzz is doing a couple of shows at the Blue Jazz Cafe, January 18th and January 19th. Fucker, where do you get tickets for that? All you need to do is click the link on my Instagram bio, at Fucker Fuzz, F-A-K-K-A-H-F-U-Z-Z. Just get Brilliant. There and Jackie Ang, you're doing two shows in early February. You're hosting an open mic on the 2nd of February and doing a one-hour show on the 4th of February. And how do people find out about that? Uh, this is the same. Just follow me on Instagram, Jackie Ang Comedy, and the link in the bio will take you to all the different. There you go. All right, Beautiful. guys. Guys, thanks so much. We wish you a hua for Chinese New Year this year. <laughs> 
<laughs> and um, hey, and stick around because uh, right after we're done with you guys, we're going to have a quick music break. But then uh, we're going to have Alif on Singapore's most successful e-racer. He is right here in studio. So you're going to want to have a, have a look uh, and see what he's up to for e-racing as well. In the meantime, happy Chinese New Year to you guys. Thanks for being with us today on Money FM. Thanks, guys. Go see Fa Tsai. Go see Fa Tsai. Go see Fa Tsai. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.